Hey guys, Daryl Born back again, Clean Athlete 99. Today we're going to talk about my Paralympic story. Yes, my Paralympic story. So guys, as you know from previous videos, I told you I was born with cere cerebral palsy on my right side, right? Um, and I spoke about being part of the Irish Paralympic team, if, if football team, a couple of years ago. So this year I'm going back, guys. Right, I took a couple of years break. Um, but in 26 now, so I'm back in my prime. Um, but when I joined, I was forced kind of 19, 20 years of age. And um, I want to talk about my Paralympic story, a bit of an inspirational story here. So when I first joined the team, uh, I was playing in pre-tournament in Dublin. And it was leading up to the Intercontinental Cup in Barcelona. So the pre-tournament in Dublin had ourselves, Ireland, Holland, USA and Scotland in it. I remember when I'd been so excited about this. I was picked for this tournament. I was like, yes, here we go, all right. Played my first game against USA. We stormed it. We absolutely trashed USA. And um, I remember at the time, I was training so much, training so much, training so much, right, uh, for this tournament. I was literally doing probably too much weights, too much weights. And um, I remember I kept getting this achy feeling in my groin. Right, but this is leading on to it, right? So we are going through, through training after um, the first game, you know, a couple of days, everything was going well. Um, and then leading into the second game, which was Holland. I remember being so psyched up and I was fucking so motivated. I was like, because literally our rivalry between us and Holland, we fucking hate each other. We're like, yeah, you bastard. Like, you know, like the rivalry was brilliant between us and Holland. Very suited teams, very, very, you know, equally uh, compared. And I remember being in the warm up in the game, warm up, and the next minute I fucking overstressed me growing. And I remember pulling it, and I remember just going like that, bollocks, right? But I said it to myself, so no one noticed it. And I remember like this absolute unbelievable pain came, came into me growing, and I literally had to hide it because I was like, I'm not missing this game. So uh, I started kind of messing around in the warm up, and I noticed I couldn't lift my leg. I was like, bollocks, like, oh fuck, I can't do this. I was like, no, I have to, I have to, I have to, right? So um, I literally went into the game, played the game, and we fucking nailed it, right? And I actually ended up having the best game of my life, right? Um, but I was fighting through the pain, fighting through the pain, fighting through the pain. I was fucking in bits, like I literally couldn't raise my leg. And no one noticed it, no one noticed it because I had such a great game. It's like the adrenaline was just getting to me. I literally just couldn't stop, like, and I remember we had a great game. We ended up beating Holland on penalties. Fucking amazing game. And uh, I remember at the very end of the game, I fell down and I was fucking in bits. I was fucking like, ugh. Just couldn't move. My groin was just in bits, in bits. I remember the physiotherapist, John, who was amazing physio, came over to me. I was like, what the fuck? And he came over and uh, that was like, oh, John, it's my groin, it's my groin, my groin is literally gone. And then um, he said, like, do you play through the whole game? And I said, yeah, yeah, I, I pulled it in the warm up, John, I was fucked, it was gone. So I didn't even know it was like, yeah, what the fuck? So he felt me groin, he was like, that, that's totally torn there, that's torn, like, what the fuck? So uh, anyway, the adrenaline, like, was still there, you know, we celebrated, we held the cup, absolutely brilliant. I got back to my room, and uh, John came in, and I was absolutely in pain, like, it was literally seized up, my groin was a bit, and I remember John saying to me, like, yeah, there, no one knows you had a fucking injury, like, you had an amazing game, like, what the fuck, like, how did you do it? And uh, I remember turning around to John and I said, John, I remember when I pulled in the warm, all I visualised was, and um, I remember one day that I had this literally this vision in my head, like this whole picture. When I was 18 years of age, I went back to the CRC, Central Remedial Clinic, which is a rehab centre for people with cerebral palsy. And I was there like throughout my whole childhood, you know, doing rehab. And I went back when I was 18, I was there till I was 14, so it was a four year break. They wanted to review me, so I went back when I was 18. And I remember walking into the room with my mother, and there was five doctors there. And who was there was Dr. Stevens. And he had done a few operations on me, a few operations on my leg. And I remember this is what I was thinking about throughout the whole game. And this is where it's going to get key, guys. A bit of inspiration, right? I remember him turning around and saying to the other doctors, Guys, this is the fellow I was talking about. And I was just like standing there looking at my man going, oh, what the fuck, like, what's he talking about, you know what I mean, could be talking about me. And uh, Dr. Stevens goes to the doors, this was the lad that wasn't meant to walk. This was the lad that looks like this now. And I literally built myself up and I was so mu muscular like, and they were like, fucking hell, like, what the fuck, like. I remember him, him turning around and going, Dad, we want to make you, you know, a role model for this clinic we want to put into a magazine, like our magazine and all that sort of stuff. And I was like, what the fuck, I couldn't believe it. And he's like, this guy is key to people with cerebral palsy. And he said this to all the four doctors, and I was like, what the fuck, like, I couldn't believe it. It's emotional, like, I was like, 
he joked with me and he was like, remember that, all the stuff you've gone through, you know, two, two years of age getting told you weren't supposed to walk, and, and then you've shown me videos of, you know, my progression and how I improved, and like, he, had, he was videotaping me throughout my whole childhood, of me not being able to walk, and me doing rehab, and I remember I was like, oh my god, and he was like, this is the guy, guys, he was saying this to the doctor, he was like, this is the guy, he was meant to walk, and now he's a fucking rock, and I was told that to John, the video, I was like, that's what kept me going, John. Not being able to walk. I've gone through adversity my whole life. Gone through fucking pain. I was like, not a fucking groin injury. Not a fucking torn groin injury is going to stop me from beating them pollen lads in this tournament. And then, um, that was one of the greatest day in, days of my life. I won one of the greatest uh, playing careers. You know, the greatest playing game ever. Absolutely amazing game. Yeah. I even remember that night. Uh, we went to my club all the players and celebrate. I was in bits that were seized up, not even the alcohol got rid of the pain, it was fucking a bit. And my good friend, my good friend of mine, Gary Messick, um, break up on himself, coming around and said to me, uh, Yo, how are you feeling? I remember the light out in the club, I was like, Gary, I'm in bits. I said, I can't dance, and he just goes, Barry, you never could fucking dance. <laughs> so, guys, that's my Paralympic story. I'm here to talk about how to fight through pain, it's about visualisation. That's what I visualised when I was playing against Holland. In this bit of fucking groin injury. And I still got through it. Because I visualised them moments where Dr. Stevens in the CRC had told me. You've gone through adversity your whole life. You weren't meant to walk. And you got through it. And it was that picture of, in that room of him telling them four doctors. This is the guy I was talking to. And I was just standing there going what? This is a guy that bet all the odds. Guys I hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And check out my other videos as well on YouTube. Right. Clean Athlete 99 back once again. Paralympic story. Hope you liked it.